Welcome to Goodwe Training Series. Today we will take you through the ES Unic unboxing and installation. ES Unic series inverters are available in the 3 to 12 kW power range. This video is an example of the ES Unic 8 kW. Unboxing. Here is the ES Unic series box. In the box, there is lead acid battery temperature sensor cable, the EMS communication cable, an accessory pack, documents, mounting plate, inverter. Here are the components included in the accessory pack. Introduction of the inverter. Take a look at the appearance of ES Unic from different views. Length is 560 mm. Depth is 226 mm and the height is 445 mm. Bottom views of the ES Unic. There are many ports for different functions. Installation of the inverter. Here are the main tools prepared for the installation of ES Unic. Use a marker to mark the screw holes. Drill the holes using a 8 mm diameter percussion drill. Ensuring a depth of approximately 80 mm. Use expansion bolts to attach the mounting bracket to the wall. Fix all four screws as shown in the video. Then hang the inverter on the mounting plate. Then install the ground wire. Make positive and negative battery cables. Take out the battery protect cover. Thread the cable into the protect cover. Then install the positive and negative terminals of the cables on the inverter separately. Finally, install the protect cover. You need to hear a click to indicate that the fixation is complete. Make positive and negative 4 DC wires. Plug the PV connectors into the DC input terminals. Take off COM cover. Good we provide a 10M cable with CT as default. These are the positive and negative poles of the CT cable. Take out the 6-pin communication terminal from the accessory pack. Connect the positive and negative terminals of the CT connection cable to the communication terminals. Unscrew the bottom of the COM cover and remove the waterproof plug. Install the BMS connection cable and the CT connection cable into the COM cover as shown in the video. Plug the BMS communication port into the inverter. Plug the communication terminal into the corresponding port. And put the cover on. Connect the other end of the DC cable and the BMS communication cable to the battery side. CT connected to switchboard or grid. Remove the cover on the AC side of the inverter. Prepare a three-phase cable. Take out the AC pinhole terminal from the accessory box. Attach the AC pinhole terminal to the cable. Take out the AC protect cover. Pass the cable through the protect cover first. Then take out the AC unlock tool. Securing the cable to the inverter AC port. Final installation of the protect cover on the inverter. You need to hear a click to indicate that the fixation is complete. The other side of the cable is mounted on the electrical box. Insert Wi-Fi slash LAN kit 2.0 module. ES Unic installation is complete. Turn on the inverter switch. The inverter will be ready for operation. LCD screen settings. Compared to the old inverter, the new inverter has a new screen on the front side. We can configure on the screen. After the inverter is started, we can see the operation status on the screen. Click on settings in the top right corner. We can make system settings. Click quick settings. In safety code. Select the corresponding safety code based on the country or region. In bat settings. You can select the corresponding battery.
In working mode, set the working mode according to actual needs. In PV concession mode, set up functions according to actual needs. In power limit mode, set up functions according to actual needs. You can set up the CT or meter in the meter slash CT assisted test. Click advanced function. You need to enter the password 1111. You can do battery wakeups, offline settings, and shadow scanning. In immediate charging, you can set the relevant parameters. In port connection, you can choose between generator connection or load connection. You can view the information in the device information. You can set the time and date as well as the language in the basic settings. Clicking on the icons on the home page also displays the corresponding information. configuration via Solargo. First open the app. Select the corresponding signal for connecting the inverter with Bluetooth. Enter the password 1111. You will be prompted to change your password after logging in. Reset your login password. Click Settings. Click Quick Settings. Enter the password 1111. Next we select the battery model. Select the corresponding battery model for connection. Click start for system self-test. Quick setting is complete. Thank you for watching. For more installation and configuration videos of Goodwe training series, please visit our Goodwe community and stay tuned to our official account.